Oh boy, so let's try to find the Great Fairy? Somewhere? Where heightst thou? I'm genuinely a little uncertain. I'm like trying to think like, did I actually encounter anything that seemed like it was the Great Fairy? Were there doors that just like don't open? Strange, this door doesn't open. I'm Link, I don't understand doors. Seems strange that packs of dogs roam our streets at night. That's the character from before, yep. I remember you. Creepy old man. Nope. Actually, I can probably destroy it. Ow. Remember that I can do this, though. I hate you, boxes in other people's houses. Ooh, money. That helps a little bit. Door doesn't open. This is the pot character. This is the Temple of Time. I mean, I can bring my, uh... Stone here, I suppose. Maybe they'll tell me where to go next at that point. I don't think I've actually received instructions. The main instructions I've heard is the hint that there might be another great fairy around somewhere, but I don't think I've been told where I should be trying to go now that I've gotten the previous gem. There are three hollows and an inscription here. He who owns the three sp songs. Yeah. Not songs, stones. Do I just get the stones and that's the whole process then? Yeah. So I don't think I put the stones anywhere, I think I just, just have them and then play the song. But I don't have the song and I don't have the other stone. I believe this is all a dead end for now. Ow. The mask guy! Like I wanted a mask. Hey! Welcome to the Happy Mask Shop. We deal in masks that bring happiness to everyone. How would you like to be a happiness salesman? <clears throat> I'll lend you a mask. You sell the mask and bring the money back here. If you want to read the fine print, take a look at the sign right over there. After you've sold all the masks, you will become happy yourself. Have faith. Pikachu. Keaton mask. Keaton stuff is hot, hot, hot. No, that's a Pikachu. Okay, it's got a weird nose, though. It's like a fox nose, I guess. You borrow the Keaton mask. You can wear it with the C stick if you want. You'll be super popular. Is this how they sell these things to people? Is by, like, lying to them about how it'll fix their social life? Let's uh, find out. I've got a mask on. Love me. I hate foxes. Alright, that's not really going over well so far. A mask. When I was a little kid, I also wore masks around. What? You say you can't imagine me doing that? Sorry, I'm busy right now. Dancing and laughing hysterically for the rest of time and space. As <laughs> I just randomly slash that character. Alright, oh, came off. Back on, haha. -ha. So I guess I'll head back to town, because that one guard wanted a mask for his kid, right? That gives me some direction, because I don't think I really know where to find the great fairy. I've forgotten anything? I'm trying to remember if I've encountered it and somehow forgotten it while I was dealing with all the Goron stuff later. What just happened? Come back, video game. 
sometimes it feels like I think I think sometimes Nintendo consoles just kind of fight against my recording stuff somehow. Uh, we'll be back after these messages, and we're back. Apparently, I wish I could identify what causes that problem because I don't know what it is. But that that specific problem has only happened like three times ever, and they were all, I believe, on Nintendo platforms or something. And it was like. Oh no, it happened once in Yakuza too, but it happens like spread out by months, so like I can't even try to diagnose it because it happens out of nowhere then goes away for like three months or something. Weird. I wonder if Saria knows anything about the other spiritual stone. Okay, so we need to go talk we need to talk to Saria next for the spiritual stones. I was wondering when I was gonna get a direction, because I was like, wait a minute, I actually don't know uh where I'm supposed to go next for the story. I figured I'd talk to Zelda, but Zelda's kind of like hidden away in her castle. It's not the most easy thing to do. I wish I could go to the mask shop in town to buy a present for my kid. Ha! What? Do you think you're in disguise, Mr. Hero? Oh? Is that a key something character mask? I heard he's a very- he's very popular recently. He's my boy's favorite. That key something mask, if you don't mind. Will it sell it to me? Yeah. Oh my god, it's on his face. My little boy will be very happy with this. You are really a, you really are a mis our Mr. Hero. Wahaha, buffet. Fifteen rupees, what a giant profit. <laughs> Let's go back to the mask shop and pay back the mask price of ten rupees. <laughs> All this work to make five rupees. <laughs> I think they make intentional attempts to, uh, parody or warn against elements of capitalism and stuff like that in various Nintendo games. Not even just Nintendo games, I think it's also a reoccurring thing in, uh... Even in Final Fantasy games, I think, there's often a side character that, you could, that just keeps asking for money over and over again. In fact, that even happened in Morrowind, in one of the expansions. There's like a reoccurring character of just people that are just trying to... Just sort of, uh, predatory business practices. It could be somebody that just keeps asking for money over and over again, and you usually don't get a reward by the end. Or in other storylines where there's, uh, some kind of person that wants you to do relatively excessive work for often no reward. Basically. Like, this is all for five rupees. Well, meanwhile, I can go in this house and just get that money in seconds. Nope. Nope. Oh wait, this is Magic Man. Whoops. Here we go. Creepy Mask Man. You have another mask. Congrats. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay back the 10 rupees for the Keaton Mask now. Payment received. Let's get the other one, I guess. Skull Mask. An honored Skull Mask. You wanna borrow the Skull Mask? boo doo doo doom You feel like a monster while you wear this mask. This is a man that ha hasn't stopped wearing a mask for the last several years. You haven't sold the mask yet, just have faith for a little while longer. Or do you wanna trade it for another mask? No. So I need to go find somebody who wants a Skull Mask now. Alright, so now we have some direction. I'm supposed to go talk to Saria. But before I talk to Saria, I'm gonna go to Lon Lon Ranch. I think it's Lon Lon Ranch. I've heard the phrase Lon Lon Ranch before. And there's Lon Lon Milk in Smash Brothers. Is this- is the move of the thing that ha that Young Link has. And Young Link is this character. And stuff. That's all I know. But we've been to this ranch and the- they were- The deadbeat Mario looking dude was off in the castle, so he's finally back. Hopefully, unless he got stuck somewhere. And they keep t uh, multiple characters have told me to go here, so I might as well pay it a visit now that the actual owner is back in place. Ah! Nature's scary, why do that? Now it's gonna be nighttime and no one's gonna be here, huh? Probably want to make it daytime again. All right. Mm. 
There we go. Wake up, everybody. I'm here to bother the crap out of you. I figured I might as well buy the next mask now because I was near... Oh wait, I'm not near money cap, am I? Because I, I can carry 200 now. Never mind. So I technically wasn't at some great need for money. Ah, he's, he's back. He's still being a deadbeat. Deadbeat's not the right word. Hey, I'm awake already. What? Well, I'll be if it ain't the forest kid from the other day. By the way, thanks a lot for waking me up. Took some doing, but I finally got Malin back in a good mood. So, what are you up to today? Got some free time on your hands, you say? Well, how about a little game? These three cuckoos I have here are super special cuckoos. Super special super cuckoos. Cuckoo, cuckoos? Cuckoos? I'm going to throw these cuckoos into that their gaggle of normal cuckoos. If, if you can pick out these three special birds from among the normal cuckoos within the time limit, I'll give you something good. If you can't find them, I win. It'll be ten rupees. Sure. You have 30 seconds? This sounds like a con. Alrighty then, get ready. Here go the super cuckoo star looking. How do I tell them apart? I just don't, do I? That's one of them. Keep it up, keep it up. Two more to find. Uh... This is impossible. <laughs> this is insane. Oops. No, stop locking on. There we go. There's another! Alright, now, the moment of truth. One more to find. Uh... Time's up! Too bad! I like swindling children out of money. There are some great cuckoos, aren't they? They're ranking in money for sure. Come back to me, my babies! Do they even look different from each other? Wanna try again? A young man like you must have a real fire in your belly. Find three of them within 30 seconds. What? I didn't... Did I say yes? Oh, five rupees. Okay. Do they look different? Are they the ones that constantly bow up and down constantly, or no? I feel like this has got to be a con, but maybe there's a way to tell? Blah, blah, I'm up, I'm up. Something, something, yes. 30 seconds, alrighty then, get ready. Super cuckoos! That's a one of them. Keep it up, 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 up. That's a two. So somewhere over here, there's another one. You probably landed over here, right? Oh wow. <laughs> Golly, I'll be darned. It's plum incredible. That's the last one. You found them all. Come over here. So basically, just, they just throw off and they run off in three different directions, and you have to just take hope that they didn't move too much. Hey, you! You've got the talent to be one of the world's best cowboys. Blah. Did I fix it? Ah, stop doing that. How'd you like to marry Malin, huh? Uh. Uh. No? Haha, <laughs> I was just kidding. Just kidding. I think you're a little young for that, aren't you? <laughs> oh, I'm proud to present you with a sample of our very own Lon Lon milk. You'll be energized the moment you drink it. After you drink it, you can bring back the bottle and buy a refill anytime you want. Bwom! You got Lon Lon milk. This milk is very nutritious. Use it with C to recover your life energy. You recover five hearts per drink. There are two drinks per bottle. And then that's the C button stuff. Blah, blah, I'm awake. I didn't mean to do that. Hey Brick, if you're looking for Malin, she's right outside. Did you come here to play? Well then. How about playing the Super Cuckoo Finding Game with me? Or, do you want to find some Lon Lon Milk? I'm... Wait, no, I didn't mean to do that. 
I hit B. That means not no. That means not yes. I was trying to skip back out. Of Fine. I I want to. I'm trying to get out of this infinite conversation loop. Ah! We've all been there when you accidentally tap a button. And you're like, oh, I'm back in the conversation. I can't leave. Ah! Did you just filled up my all my vials with lawn lawn milk? I think. How does this work? Does he? Surely he sells it in containers, though. Like you don't have to like separately. Like presumably he doesn't sell the lawn lawn milk just on its own, and you have to have your own glasses for it, right? Couldn't I use him as like an infinite source of glasses to use for other purposes? I order milk, then I drink the milk, and then I use the milk container for whatever I want. <laughs> That'd be a sweet gig there. Let's see. So I have a guess as to what happened. I think that maybe I have a- I might have a USB port that might be, like, finicky or something. So I tried changing the US- the- the port that my recording st stuff is plugged into. The moment you're play- uh, the moment you're doing console games, it's in it's interesting how many complications come up for recording stuff compared to just doing it on a PC. Never mind games that don't even have HDMI, ha. <laughs> Oh, they dropped money again. Huh. What's in here? Oh yeah, happy dude with neck beard? I can't believe that I, the great Ingo, am working on this dump of a ranch. Because the owner is so lazy, I always have to do all the work around here. I, the hard-working Ingo, should be in charge, not that lazy bum, Talon. Tell them how it is, yo. Ha! Huh. Oh wait, I can't use bombs, though. Or attacks of any kind. The wall is so discolored, I'm like, I better blow this up! I don't even know why yet. But it won't let me- it won't let me touch it. I, the great Ingo, king of the Ingos. What? Ingo. I don't understand. Okay. Oh yeah, that's- that's probably it. I guess it's just col discolored because it can be moved. There's a spot there. Aha. I can destroy that. And flip. Hey. Is the little girl here? Yeah, she's over there. If I were to take a guess, you're probably Epona. The little tiny pony. Oh, it's the fairy boy again. That just sounds mean. <laughs> I heard that you found my dad. How did you like the castle? Did you see the princess? Dad came home in a hurry after you found him. Oh yeah, I have to introduce you to my friend, fairy boy. Let's stop saying that. <laughs> She's this horse. Her name is Epona. Isn't she cute? Bye. I guess we'll never be friends. It's, it's, it's revolted by my face. No. Come here. Come here. Come here. Yeah. Yeah. Come back here. Come, come back, you tiny, tiny horse. You're very small. But if I sneaky snack the whole way there... With my super- nope, that doesn't work. Alright. It seems like Epona's afraid of you, fairy boy. My mother composed this song. Isn't it nice? Let's sing together! Oh. 
guess that's all it is, yeah. Am I supposed to play it though, or not? My mother composed this song. Maybe I have to sneak up on Epona and sing and play it? Epona the Terrified? Epona, give me a second, I just gotta trap you in a corner somewhere so I can play this near you. Wow, you actually just run straight past me. Um... Come... Back... Love me! No? Somebody give me a carrot. Are there carrots here? No. I mean, I already sang it to you, didn't I? I let's say I target you. Oh, cute ocarina! Are you gonna play the song with- Oh, so I had to, like, trigger it correctly on her. Oh yeah, I figured out myself. It's fine. Let's do this. You've learned Epona's song! And then the owl sweep, swoops by and steals the pony, and it's never seen again. Owls are horrible. People, like, it's, it's, it's relatively normal to, like, if you would make the mistake of having too small of a dog, like, your dog can just be stolen away and taken forever by an owl or an eagle or a hawk. Compared to... I had to break it to you, Tepona, but compared to that owl, you are a small dog. Oh, Epona, she's grown fond of you, fairy boy. Stop, stop saying that. Is she fond of me? She... Come to me. Can I pet you, or... Stop moving for a second. Yeah. Yeah. Come back. Come back. I'm, try I'm trying to get him to just, them to just push me for a long period of time. I don't think he can really get stuck on the on the on the horse though. <laughs> Doesn't really work. Well, that happened. Maybe they'll like me more later or something. All right, let's go find Saria, and she can probably tell me where to go next. All I have to do is get back to where we started. Um, and I have to remember how to get back there. The main the main way I remember how to get back there is via Goron City. Now I don't actually remember the specific end uh, path that got let me in the first time. Was it in the far end of town, or let's see, that's Goron, right? Weird giant plan over there. Yeah, what's the entry that's right here? That that might be it actually. Cause I think the Goron City and Kakariko are in the top corner. Not sure what that shape of the map looks like. This is kind of just a big, weird, empty gulf area. Ah, what the hell? No. Go away. Go away. I'm going- I'm just gonna not go near any of you.
Uh, okay. No, no. They can shoot little throwing star copies of themselves. No, thank you. No want. Bad time. Oh, what's this? What's this weird? Oh, hi. What is down here? Oh, a hole. Hello, hole. I'll just jump in random holes. You don't don't judge me. Yeah, five rupees and some plants to destroy. More rupees. Bombs. Don't tell, don't don't you dare tell me what time it is. No, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Ah, ah, ah! <laughs> Beyond this point is lies Lake Hylia, which is full of deep, pure water. The Zoras, who live in the way, all the way upstream, guard the sunken temple at the lake's bottom, as well as Zora's fountain. If you want to confirm its location on the map, press start to switch to the. Look for Merrill's codec at the back of the manual. All the places you have visited are shown on the map. Woohoo! You want to hear what I said? No. Be careful and go! Be sure to confirm your pre-order bonus! What's the fourth wall anyway? I don't think I can even go this way, can I? He does raise a good point though, which is that I should be paying more attention to the map. And this thing. Lost Woods! I mean... Although it doesn't help me a ton at making me- helping me remember where the entrance was. You know what, let's just finish the lap. Screw it. Wait, Zora's Domain isn't on here yet though, is it? No? Is there a way to add it to the map? Oh, ladder. What happens if I go up this? Ah! Yeah! Now we go on my map. Lake Hylia. Yes. Add it. Go on my map. I want Lake Hylia on my map. I want a complete a complete map. Am I trapped now? Um. Oh, you can just jump over the fence. Huh. Video game players have a very complicated history of fences and what they actually mean regarding your barriers and whatnot. No. There we weird nightmare plant. Since I'm already going the wrong way anyway, I might as well just check around. I'm curious what the, the surrounding areas are, and it seems like the game's happy to explain as we go. But also, yeah, I've totally forgotten how to get to Lost Woods without going through the Garan City, so maybe I might actually have to go that way if I can't find the entrance. What is this place, and why is it awful looking? This is the Deathland, where nothing can grow. Full of death. Gerudo Valley. Huh. Oh, that's the owl. I, I circumvented him entirely. You have anything to say about Gerudo Valley, do, dude? Or do I have to walk up close to you? Rawr! I am owl. Hello? Brick, wait up, buddy! Woohoo! Head south from here to reach Lake Hylia's full rich waters. If you go west, you'll find Gerudo Valley. There's a hideout of a gang of thieves on the other side of that valley. Well, you're free to go anywhere you want. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Do you want to hear what I said again? No. No matter how hard it is, just don't get discouraged. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Hoo -hoo -hoo. Well, I could do the logical thing, which is go visit Saria, and then uh, ask where to go next. Or I could just assume something, and then get punished for my wrongness. 
but there's two paths here, one of which is an open path, one of which is a closed path, which really makes it seem like you'd want to go to here next. But maybe Saria gives you the song of opening the gate to the Lake Hylia, which is something that could totally be in these games on purpose. Ooh, that's a good song. I hate rocks. Yeah. This ranks pretty high on the list of songs I like from uh, from Zelda also. Kakariko and Gerudo. Wait, Kakariko or Kakori? No, Kakori, not Kakariko. I like the woods song, not the village song. I just mix up those a lot. No diving allowed, it won't do you any good. Ooh, it's a long way down. I'm guessing no men allowed, because that's how it always goes. The Gerudo's Fortress is located beyond this gate. A kid like you has no business there. Yep, that's always being told where I can and can't go. You'll see. You'll all see. When the another game comes out in approximately 20 years, where I can go wherever the heck I want. 